now let us move on to the next topics that is that are maps and sets in javascript so these two data structures are very often used in very very important data structures in javascript so map and sets are our next topics to be discussed the first thing first what is a map sorry the first thing first what is a map if you remember our previous video and the objects i have defined i have explained you what are objects if you, if you don't know what are objects map it will be a bit difficult for you so better i'll provide the link go and understand what is an object then come here then understand what is a map so map in javascript is very similar to an object but there are certain differences and certain advantages of maps because of which maps are preferred over objects in certain situations for example there are three advantages that that maps provide over your objects the first advantage is with the help of maps we can find the length of number of key value pairs but with the object you can never find how many key value pairs are there the first advantage now the second advantage is that now in the object that attribute that key that you define that has to be either string or a symbol but when you come to a map it can be a string a symbol and also can be an object and so many things okay now third advantage is that it is going to provide you an order if you iterate through it it will definitely give an order but in object there is no guarantee of order there is no guarantee of order in objects whereas in map there is a guarantee of order in maps so let us move on to the creation of a map so how are you going to create a map cuz the two of them uh, again you take constant variable or let map name is equal to new keyword then you will take map within that you can take an array first method in the first method take an array take opening and closing then take the elements like this okay first method second method keep that empty put a semicolon in the next line take that name that you have given put a dot put a set open the parenthesis then give a key give a value you have to do so many times like that so that are the two ways of creating a map okay let us come out to the screen here and see okay i want to uh, i want to comment this again so let me create a map uh, maybe uh, var uh, val value no val is equal to new map and that i can take this array now i'll take the key value pairs first one name so maybe i'll put this as a car name of the car uh, maybe i don't know uh, <laughs> min name of the car take it as bmw comma then again open put a color comma black next one put uh, the price as something of five hundred thousand dollars and so on so this is how you have created your first map with three elements into it okay so we have created our first map let us print that map and on the console and see console dot log of car and there we go and um refresh sorry sorry and you got your map what you have created that that is a description of your map so there are certain methods that we have to discuss here i can also add the elements in the map here see i have shown you the set car dot set take a uh, take other thing it here as take other thing as maybe model model comma some i don't know any models of that thing 2019 so put a semicolon here now you can see that attribute key value pair also refresh and you got that model there okay is it okay for you now in this in map